we as rabbis have to remain up to date. So although, without giving away my age, well, years ago nobody understood what a sous vide machine was, we now get many questions about a sous vide machine. And the question is, can it be cashered? So just to briefly describe as much as I understand a sous vide machine in the terminology of a person who remembers when we used to, in yeshiva, warm up water with an immersion. We used to have a metal piece that you put into a cup of water and that's how your water boiled for your coffee in a place where you didn't have an oven, a stove readily available. So now that isn't just used to boil up water for a quick cup of coffee, but it's also used to cook food. And you put food, typically I understand the food is put into small plastic bags with a, in a pot of water, and you put the sous vide machine into that pot of water, and you set it at a certain temperature for a certain amount of time, and your food will be delicious. The question is, can a sous vide machine be kosher? So if you used it for dairy, can you now use it for meat? Can you use, if you used it for vice versa? So the OU's position is that a sous vide machine indeed can be kosher. What you should do is make sure that it's perfectly clean. Don't use it for 24 hours and then boil up a pot of water the old fashioned way and put the sous vide machine into it and that's and that's the way you get it cashiered. Although our position is that you can cashier a sous vide machine from dairy to meat and vice versa, we do not recommend cashiering a sous vide machine for Pesach, for Passover, and if you want to have one for Pesach, buy a new one just for Pesach. Mm -hmm.